welcome guys so i am going to start with this particular part uh, we got this long time back and it's already done so as soon as we get we create a folder this is our folder structure where we have care correspondence customer cast design dip job workbook quality shipping timeline and this is the most important workbook so uh, let me open care and drawing folder here we have two subfolders customer and supplier under customer we have further three folders current obsolete and proposed in current what we do we keep the latest data what we got from the customer and as you can see over here we have all these parts right and then in this we have gdnt now we go back in obsolete nothing but the old data so we keep them under dated folder so folders name are that same on which date we got it right so like this we got on this date like that and then we go back proposed when we got this and when we run the initial simulations feasibility studies we found that okay there need to be some changes in this part to make it feasible that's what it is so we had three such proposals for the customer so that's what we kept in proposed folders right now okay okay now we go to um, uh, all these we will take you to all these um, files later on now we go to supplier one there also we have three so whatever we received from customer so naturally current so we have not received anything absolute we have not received anything because this is something which we are going to give to our supplier proposal yes we received the proposal here now you will say we also had a proposal in the customer and we have a proposal over here uh, in the beginning i have told you guys that we we do take care of design but we also we also keep our suppliers involved from the beginning so that they also understand so whereas we have proposed all these three proposals customers also had a supplier also had given us one ecr proposal engineering change request right okay now we go to the next one okay so uh, uh, then correspondence is nothing but it's record between our interaction and customer and suppliers right so whatever we received all the important communication from customer we keep under receipt folder right whatever we sent to customer so whatever uh, important communications what we sent to customer that we keep here and again you can see the date structure right similarly with supplier whatever important we received whatever important we sent to them right now the customer cost breakdown it's confidential we will not show you design information here we have strip layout simulation dies and check fixture right so i'll take you through all these later on so let's go back we have die pics and videos where we after die done right we make the videos pictures we keep everything there then we have job workbook requirements right details i'll show you later on right then we have quality so what happen all the certifications right we keep your die certification coating heat treatment standard part certifications all everything we keep here right then gauge in gauge we have gauge r and r and third party certification I'll take you later on. I'll also uh, explain about gauge R and R. Now the customer CMM reports, home line buy up, you know, all those things we keep here, right? And these are from supplier ends. Okay. So the next is shipping information like uh, material, parts, all those in all those details, whatever we receive or we have to ship, we keep over here. So it's a very good information. And it's a very good way to keep everything track, right? The timeline, timeline, what we see 
it's sent to customer and what we receive from our supplier right and this is what is most important this is our workbook right so okay we are opening here now as you can see it's an excel sheet okay let me take you to the main page okay we are over here so here what we have it's a first page is overview where we have part information customer information picture of part right so when did we receive it when we are going to deliver it right what is the material specification like what did we code and what is it is as of today what was the thickness at that point of time what did we code at that point of time what it is now you can see a little bit changes there because when you code and when you have actual there could be some differences die size also what was the die what we had coded and what during the strip review phase what during the diet design phase right so there are certain changes which you can see here but ten is remain the same right so the final die size is 135.6 inches into 47.1 inches into 40 inches right this is the data change record on which date we received what data right and uh, gdnt that's for 3d another is for 2d this one is bypass notch record so when you make a part in a progressive die you have to do the trimming in three four stations you have to connect the part with the carrier so when you do retrim you have to bypass right so that is bypass notch it's very much important to make sure that our bypass notches are in an area which does not affect the part strength so when we do it we have to send a 3d model of the part with all the bypass notches to our customers so that they can check that and then this is strip notes all right and this is strip review we will explain it later on all right uh, and this is like preliminary die review and what are all the informations here what did we check against right then the next one is internal review uh, prelim notes finish notes gauge approval right and the timeline okay tool buy off checklist all this and uh, purchasing checklist right and um, okay so we go to the next page now okay so we have one more very much important uh, information here this is shipping information so when we finish the die design at that point of time only we enter all the information here so that we know okay how many dies can go in a container and in which container it will go what will be the cross weight and net weight are we going to go for lcl or fcl right and this we send to our uh, shipper and our uh,